Yo, what's going on guys? It's Houston Sports Talk back into the video day and today we're going to be talking about Victor Caratini for the Houston Astros catcher and mainly this season. He's been great when pinch hitting. I want to talk about how huge he's been for this Astros team and what an addition he was. Um, I had a little bit of doubts when we brought him in. I didn't think it would pan out. I mean, I had you know, I was confident, but I just didn't know. Uh, but Victor Cartini has been fantastic for this Astros team. He really has. And he's been even better when pinch hitting. Uh, he's been good when the Astros give him the chance to start at DH or catcher. But he has been great when pinch hitting. When pinch hitting, he's three for five, has a home run, uh, has, I think, like four or five, four, four RBIs, I believe. It's either four. It's either three or four RBIs when pinch hitting. Uh, he has 38 plate appearances this season, 35 at bats, and only 14 games played. He scored eight runs and 11 hits, with two home runs, eight RBIs, seven only struck out seven times. He has a batting average of 314, two walks, an OPS of 940. I also I I know he has not played as much as he played last season in 2023 but i want to compare his 2023 stats to 2024 and the improvements he's made so 2023 62 games played he's played 14 so far uh 226 played appearances last year 201 at bats 23 runs 52 hits four doubles and seven home runs so he's hit two home runs in 14 games and last year only hit seven and 62 um and he hit 25 RBIs in 62 games last year. I honestly, if if he, you know, by the time he gets to 62 games for this Astros, this Astros team, I honestly think I wouldn't be surprised if it's if it's more than 25 RBIs for him. He's played that good for this Astros team, um, and the batting average last year was 259. Uh, if he keeps it up, it's 314 right now. I don't see it going below 259. Uh, he's played that well for this Astros team, and he's he's stepped up in clutch moments for this Astros team. And the big one was last night when he came in, bottom bottom of the tenth inning, down ten or no, sorry, down nine to eight, with a runner on third base. That was Mauricio Dubon. Keep in mind, two outs, and Caratini hits a bomb. Um, to right field gets the Astros to win. This was a huge win because if look, we can go back at it and see if let's just say the Astros go on a huge run. This will be the win if the Astros go on a huge run from right now. This will be the win you you go back and you look like you look at and you say, all right, that was huge for our success and that is what set off the success. He's going to be big for this team rest of the season in pitch hitting you know appearances. Whenever Yanner Diaz gets a day off, he's done good when potentially he starts. He has not done bad, um, and I, I've been really impressed with what he's done when he gets the opportunity. I really have. I mean, he's been he's been great for this Astros lineup so far, whether he's pinch hitting or whether he is starting and i think the thing that i've seen so much is that we need to start mercio dubon and we need to start victor caratini more and i could i couldn't disagree more these guys are so dangerous as pinch hitters for this this team and they 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 show up for this astros team in in clutch situations like last night where victor caratini hits that bomb and, and dubon does the same thing uh, now Caratini, I I could I could I could agree with that one and say okay yeah he he needs to play more but Dubon, look I, I want to believe in Dubon but uh, and I do I fully do because he's a great player he's been great for us this year but at the same time if you look at his stats you know his, his numbers when he is batting with um, when he is batting with no men on base and when he is batting with runners in scoring position or just men on base. Um, the numbers are terrible. His numbers are terrible when he bats with no runners on. Now, but when he bats with runners on base, he is fantastic. Dubon shows up for this team every time. I want to go over Dubon's. Are, I want to go. I'm going to go over Dubon's numbers real quick. Um, and he because he's been he's been huge for this team. Um, I don't know if he'll. Yeah, let me try to. Um, because you know he he I've seen him step up with he put him in pinch hit appearances and he does not disappoint. Uh, so this season Dubon has played in twenty three games, sixty three played appearances, sixty one at bats, six runs scored, seventeen hits, four doubles, one home run, thirteen RBIs. Yeah, thirteen RBIs, and a lot of those RBIs do come from pinch hit appearances. 
Uh, he's a batting average of 279. But, you know, his batting average is like 300, 400 when batting, when runners in scoring position are, are runners on base. And his batting average with, with no runners on base is like, it's like, it's 100 or 200, something like that. It's, it's terrible. So uh, these two guys have been clutch for this Astros team this season when they need to step up when they are put in the game as a pinch hitter. And honestly, this Astros lineup is dangerous when you have pinch hitters like Caratini and Dubon. Uh, but Caratini's been huge for us this season, and he stepped up last night, hit a huge, huge, huge home run for this team when we needed him. And uh, he, he, if he's going to continue to do things for that for this team, the Astros will be more successful closing out games like they did last night uh, when you have guys like Cartini and Dubon uh, pinch hitting for you. And that's that's why the Astros need those guys as pinch hitters with how, how big they come for this team when you need them. Let me know your thoughts on the Astros uh, you know, win last night, Cartini's home run, walk off home run, and and you know how big he's been for this team this season. Lemmer thoughts and peace out, go Astros.